It's my pleasure to talk with Dana Rucker. Now, Dana, you've been you, you've been the spearhead for this uh, this time. Is that correct? Yeah. It, uh, it well, it happened kind of by accident. Uh, they, as you know, they've been doing this for 20 years in uh, Egan, and I was at a regional meeting, and uh, one of the f people that I know there. Uh, hollered at me and says, come over here. And he says, you need to look into this at, uh, to do a Wilmer. So do you think this is something that we'll be able to continue on? Uh, we certainly want to. Uh, I think that we have the Rotary Club behind us on it. What was your feeling on how the kids handled it today? I was real excited, when, uh, especially when they got around to uh, uh, volunteering to stand up. Um, we were afraid that we weren't going to be able to get all the tables in. And I said, let's just shorten it up and so we get every table to be able to get uh, to speak and show wor what work they've done. And so uh, when I saw the hands start going up, you know, I think that they, uh, they were excited. And uh, I think it probably, uh, maybe they thought it was going a little slow in the morning from, from the looks on the faces. And, uh, and, uh, but I think they saw how it uh, went together. Yeah, I think they did too. I think they saw that there was a purpose for the stuff in the morning and then tied in with the yeah. afternoon. Did yeah. you? Yeah, I do too. I think that uh, it, uh, it makes the pieces about, you know, it seems easy to say, what would I do with a $100 bill? Yeah. Or what would I do with a puppy? But when you start looking at what do I have to do and I have to keep a lot of people happy, that can be a club, it can be uh, uh, a social organization that you belong to, it could be a corporation that you're going to be working for, and you see that uh, you see where the four-way test fits into that. So, Dan, tell us what the what the four tenets of Rotary are. Well, the four tenets are: is it the truth? Is it fair for all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendship? And it will be: will it be beneficial for all concerned? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That was pretty good. Thank you, Jerry, for uh, presenting uh, this to the school and, and going along with it, uh, because uh, you, you're the integral part to get it going. So, Megan, what did you think of the day? It was very interesting. I learned a lot. I started out the day not even knowing what ethics was, and I have learned what it is, and also a lot more that will help me throughout college and throughout my career. I know that you were kind of chosen to come. Uh, are you glad you came? Yeah. Um, at first, I was thinking, oh, I have to miss school, but I am very glad I came. Now, I hate to tell you, but the normal reaction is, yowie, I get to miss school. I have some pretty tough classes, and it's kind of hard to miss a whole day of school, but it's worth it to come to here. I, I had a good day. Super. I'm glad to hear that. Make it professional. You're coming up as a CEO of Act want to come up and say, my name is whatever, I'm the CEO of the Corporation, I'm here to address, the, address our constituents, whatever, and can make it a professional presentation as you can. Uh, and lastly, I think I covered this as well. This is the, uh, what I just said, is identify yourself, plan three to five audience questions, maybe less today. Welcome to the CEO of Pogo Corporation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Phil Nadoli. I'm the CEO of Pogo Corporation. Um, we would like to inform you of our decisions and our uh, business moves for this next quarter. Uh, in the near term, we would like to hire a uh, third party group to investigate the um, working conditions in Indonesia and um, many foreign countries as I'm sure many of you are aware. All right. Hi, I'm uh, Nicholas Holstrom, CEO of Global Corporation. Uh, as many of you know, there have been uh, a lot of recent allegations about our working practices in Indonesia. I can assure you that most of these are completely unfounded, and the few that do have a basis are being dealt with as soon as possible. We believe strongly in the idea that all people should be treated fairly. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Okay, I am Heather Bernie, and I am the CEO of Pogo. Um, to be responsive for our allegations against us, we are mainly sticking to our model, people come first. Um, we are supporting our community in the United States by keeping our U.S. manufacturing facility. Um, we're listening to our customers that pay attention to the worries and issues. Um, we're going to switch our advertisement from Holly 
Hollywood celebrities to local heroes such as um, college athletes and more athletic um, heroes. We are one of the first companies that is proposing a model of sub or stabilization and renovation. More stabilization before renovation, but. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pablo Corp. Good afternoon, Pogo stockholders. I'm Rose Jackson, current CEO of the Pogo Corporation. In response to the rumors currently in circulation, we have addressed them and responded to them accordingly. With the manufacturing plants in Indonesia, we are currently negotiating with the independent contractors there to improve the working conditions in Bala. If they do not comply with our new regulations, we plan to pull out and expand our business to China. We will also postpone our decision on closing of the closing of the U.S. factory in Washington. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Pogo Corp. Good afternoon. I'm Janessa Palmer, um, CEO of po Poco Incorporated. Um, in the near and long term, we've decided to take the following series of steps to further the growth of our company. First of all, we need to further investigate the allegations of the working conditions um, happening in Indonesia. If the allegations are found to be correct, um, we are working on plans um, to consolidate our manufacturing and move it into China, which would, uh, the benefits of this being that we have a more dependable uh, situation with our manufacturing companies being in one place and coming from a very uh, solid ground. We'd also be able to further. We'd also be able to keep a closer eye on the quality of the working conditions, and it should also have benefit the profitability of our com company. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Poco Corp. Thank you. My name is Tom Millis. I'm the CEO of Poco Corporation. At Poco Corporation, we have a long, incredible history. We'll do an internal investigation of all the Indonesian plants. I'm personally going over to Indonesia, and, uh, and we will improve all the working conditions. We have decided not to close the U.S. plant, and we are going to launch a new product in the U.S. We are going to open up uh, several retail, re retail stores on the West Coast, and we are going to expand it in, the Europe, in the coming year. Thanks for watching this edition of Cardinal Clips. We hope you enjoyed it. And remember, the students in our classes today are tomorrow's CEOs.